Radio, and welcome back to another episode of Thor vs. Thor v. Ninja, with Ninja being the OG boss killer from like, what, 29, from COVID, from COVID times, basically. Ninja was the boss killer. He's doing a massive amount of damage in Hydra, most recently with the introduction of Makage, putting them both together. I've, I've seen some crazy things with Ninja, and now we want to see Thor versus ninja all right so let's go over ninja's build real quick he's in a seven piece or six piece merciless set 35 percent ignore damage and we have him with crit rate some attack accuracy because the bulk of his damage is going to be coming from his hp burns we have him going uh, a decent amount of speed crit damage on the on the gauntlet uh survivability on the chest as always with a lot of my nukers for prolonged fights i personally i'm not telling you guys to do this or suggesting you do I'm just saying I like to have defense and HP on my my nukers and then speed with attack percent. And then we've got more uh, attack with some survivability here. The nice triple uh, triple roll on the red here. And then we have HP. Ideally, this would be crit damage, but it is with, uh, what it is with Merciless. And then accuracy with accuracy on the counterattack banner. Total stats. Total stats are going to be 64,000 HP, 3,100 defense, 5,100 attack, 236 speed, 101 crit rate and only 200% crit damage with 350 accuracy. Now again, um, we're going to take him into hard. The requirements for accuracy aren't going to be that high, so uh, I'm okay with going at 340. Now when we go into the actual fight against Hydra, we're going to get some boost here. It's going to be closer to 400 accuracy, 218 crit damage, 256 speed, and these are the stats here. And he is in Merciless. Because his gear setup is going to be in Merciless, and I don't think that he needs to be depowered, I think I can put the gear back on, on Thor. So let's put these uh, uh, jewelry pieces back on. And you guys have probably already seen his build in this one, so I don't make you guys go to other videos and check it out. You can just go ahead and take a look at the pieces of gear here. Same thing across uh, pretty much everything when it comes to nukers. A little bit more intent with the survivability stats because Thor is just naturally squishy as I've mentioned before so here are the total stats and as you can see he does have a lot more crit damage than Ninja does but again keep in mind the bulk of Ninja's damage is going to be coming from his HP burns doing the HP burn activation right so just keep that in mind and these are the total stats true stats when we go into Hydra all right we have Nature's Wrath for the Blessing, we've talked about that already, and Helm Smasher for the Masteries. When we go over to Ninja, let's go ahead and check him out. He's got Brimstone, he's got a low-level Blessing, fully booked. The cool thing about Ninja is his Escalation ability every time he attacks, increases his attack up to 100% and his crit damage up to 25% each time a single enemy is hit by all three of Ninja's active skills in a single round. And so this is going to last for the entirety of the fight. When fighting bosses, it increases up by 20% up to 100 and 10% up to 25. Now, here are the masteries taking uh, War Master, and this works for me. I'm going to put Ninja back into his build before because he's actually my Phantom Shogun farmer, or part of my farm team for Phantom Shogun, so I'll put this back on him when he's done doing this test here. But you guys can now see what they're both up against, and let me just set... Ninja's presets. Thor's already set up. Let's set up. We're going to do the HP burn first, and then we're going to do the A2, which is going to help put the cooldown for hail burn up. Down, I mean. And again, we're going to go into hard. There's the team. All right. Let's go ahead and check it out. See what everybody's doing. Okay, so Ninja... I didn't see what Ninja hit for, but... It's always so hard because everything just kind of stacks on top of the words on top of words. Look at that. Words and letters. Numbers. 54. Okay, the HP burns are proccing. I'm curious to see how much each HP burn is proccing damage for. I think it's, what, 20? Now, the, the interesting thing is because there's two HP burns. Oh, so 20k on hard. It goes up if you go to Brutal and Nightmare, I think. I think it, the HP burns do more damage because it's based off of the enemy max HP. I think. 56 from his A1. 
99 on his A3. That's Ninja. And of course, you, you really have to see what he looks like at the very end when he's fully buffed up because it does take a few turns for Ninja to get buffed up. All right, so Thor is doing his move 100, 100 over here. Sky Rupture 39. And then let's see what Ninja does. Okay, 77. I think that was 77 with the initial direct hit, but not with the HP burns. All right, 89 right there. Okay, let's look at this head here. And we're gonna slow it down and see if we can, we're, we're actually, um, we're in a good position here. We're gonna check out what he does here. And then I'm gonna reset it, let it run naturally, full auto. All right, 590, 590 on this decapitated head, 540 with the sky rupture. But yeah, I'll take it off and then we'll re I'll send them back in so that we can see a, a full true depiction of what it's like to have them um, duke it out completely without my influence. All right, 304, 290 with the initial hits on this head here from Ninja's A2. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna let it run. You guys kind of get a sense of who's doing damage, what and where. Remember, Ninja is in a Merciless set. So we can expect him to be doing uh, a staggering amount of damage. I have high hopes for Ninja, so we'll see. All right, and coming up to the very end here, Thor is taking a nap. 575 million. Check this out, 248 from Thor. Wow, that's staggering. 137 from Ninja. What do you guys think? I think that one thing that I could do is potentially try the same team, but replace somebody in that Hydra team to put Makage in or rework the team so that Thor and Ninja go in the same team with Makage because Makage with her A1 would allow Ninja to join in the ally attack. And I think for most, at least for the thumbnails, because I haven't seen the videos, you guys can let me know. A lot of the big numbers I've been seeing in the thumbnails with Ninja incorporated Makage. So it could be that my Ninja build just was not good or just isn't as good as the ones that we see in the videos or some that you guys might have yourself. But I think that, um, you know, if we tried this again, I would be curious to see how Ninja and Lady Makage would do together versus Thor. But then again, it would also kind of defeat the purpose of this because the idea is to see how Thor uh, stacks up against a ninja. But, you know, this is just, um, I guess, a theoretical. I usually love sleeping all alone. 